with uh, an increase in outsourcing and offshoring that uh, we can see around us every day. Uh, companies in different uh, areas such as manufacturing uh, and retailing have to pay more and more attention in uh, how they source, uh, from where they source, and how they manage the relationships with their suppliers. A lot of costs uh, come from the suppliers and if you can work with them in order to try to cut these costs, uh, the entire supply chain performance uh, can be improved. So the students that talk at uh, jobs at uh, different, uh, different areas, whether it's manufacturing or retailing, uh, whether it is uh, logistics, uh, can get some benefits from taking the class which looks at sourcing and supplier management. If we look outside Marshall, I think that uh, students from uh, industrial engineering, so engineering students, can get the most benefits uh, from the class. In particular, uh, engineering students tend to get uh, exposed more to the uh, quantitative methods uh, in, uh, in solving different problems related to uh, the company's operation and performance. Well, taking this class can uh, open a new venue for them when they look at actual examples from industry and where they can learn a little bit of some of the challenges that the companies are facing in trying to uh, manage their supply chains better and uh, improve their uh, sourcing uh, policies. The class uh, is uh, going to uh, cover some uh, theoretical uh, aspects, uh, but uh, it is mostly oriented on some practical challenges that uh, companies face in dealing with sourcing and supplier management. Uh, so all the topics covered will be illustrated with different case studies that we are going to analyze uh, in the class. And uh, also, especially for students who don't have a lot of experience in dealing with uh, uh, procurement, with sourcing and supplier management, we are going to uh, to do a simulation study, which is going to take like two, uh, one week or two classes, uh, in which the students will uh, have a chance to try to make some sourcing decisions and see what are the actual consequences of uh, using faster uh, and more flexible suppliers who are likely to be more expensive versus suppliers who are less flexible, who are further away but are cheaper. The class should be beneficial for students in increasing their chances of uh, getting a position uh, because the companies uh, are increasingly looking at students who are familiar with uh, different uh, issues in sourcing and supplier management. Uh, so th the recent article in Interfaces uh, mentioned that uh, in, in uh, ads uh, for uh, MBA graduates uh, looking for supply chain management positions, over 57% of ads mentioned uh, sourcing and supplier management as important skill that uh, uh, employers uh, are looking uh, to get from uh, their future employees. What I think will be the greatest benefits from student is uh, doing the simulation exercise, uh, which uh, highlights the challenges and trade-offs uh, involved in uh, making sourcing decisions, in particular in deciding uh, what and how much of your production should be sourced from uh, cheaper but uh, further away locations and what portion should be sourced from more expensive but closer locations. So while uh, all of us are aware that companies are doing offshoring and outsourcing today, uh, sometimes we may not be aware of all the different issues involved. For instance, if you want to outsource to uh, China or Vietnam, which have low labor costs, it may not be as beneficial if our final product does not have a lot of actual uh, labor content uh, or if there is a lot of variability in demand uh, and we have to react fast, then sourcing somewhere in US or Mexico may have a higher impact on uh, profitability, on positive impact on profitability than sourcing to, uh, to the location which is further away. So uh, in my opinion, having a little bit of experience in trying to decide what to source from where and seeing uh, what are the effects of this uh, can uh, have a, a great benefit for students.